Please welcome Amber Rose from South Philadelphia. Hello, my name is Amber Rose. I'm a model and entrepreneur, thank you. But most importantly, I'm a mother. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents, whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals. We all want a better country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump President of the United States. <laughs> now you may be wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies, so I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse, and I believed the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. People have to do their research. I watched all the rallies, and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I realize Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> I let go of my fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the President and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. Very funny. The First Lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble, just like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> and when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control. And you know in your heart it was not like this under Donald Trump. My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. We were safer, wealthier, and stronger. 
A vote for Donald Trump is a vote to put money back in our pockets and good food on our kids' plates. Yes. <laughs> or, as Trump would say, it's a vote to make America great again. Thank you so much. Please welcome Latino American, Linda Fornos. Sixteen years ago, I left Nicaragua for a better life in a fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. America welcomed me, and I embraced the values of hard work, learning the language, and respecting the laws. It's the American thing to do. In 2022, my three boys and I faced a devastating house fire. We lost everything. And starting over in Joe Biden's economy was almost impossible. The Biden economy is driving prices through the roof. Rent, gas, groceries, everything. As a life insurance worker, I see the struggle of people trying to save for their future while barely managing their basic needs. I'm living that same struggle every day. Life is too hard right now. One of my sons works three jobs, and the other holds down two. That makes six jobs for three people just to survive in Biden's economy. Our open borders are making this problem worse. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to see millions of dollars being sent to help immigrants who came here illegally while hardworking families who did it the right way are left struggling. The fact is that illegal immigration hurts legal immigrants the most. The Biden system is backwards and broken. Inviting American opportunities to get ahead are dwindling, and our education system is failing our children. What happened to teaching reading, writing, and math? Now, it's like our kids are getting a degree in pronoun studies. He, she, they, them. I have expect my son to come home with a diploma in advanced day 10 theory. Life was completely different under President Trump. We prosper. To my beloved Latino community, it's time to wake up and smell the cafecito. In 2020, I made a mistake, a mistake that is hard to admit, especially in this room. In 2020, I voted for Joe Biden. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He has made me regret it. This November, my vote won't be taken for granted. And this time, I won't regret it. Please 
Please join me in voting for Donald